Let's make liquid sucralose. Once you learn how to make it and how simple it is, you will never buy that store stuff again. Not only will you save money, but you will also have a better quality product. So let's get started. Be sure to buy pure sucralose powder. Nothing else added, just pure sucralose powder. And you can um, buy this off of Amazon and I will share the link below. First, you want to take your two ounce bottles. If this is the first time, make sure you wash them out with soap and water. Rinse them very well with plenty of water. We don't want any soap. So this first process is just the beginning of how we're going to sterilize the bottles. You also want to clean and wash out the dropper as best as you can. Use plenty of water to rinse out any soap or any residue that might be left behind. Okay, now it's time to sterilize the bottles. I like to use a baby bottle sterilizer but you can use anything that you might have. Um, you can even boil them in hot water. So I take the baby bottle sterilizer, I fill my two ounce bottles, put a little bit of water in it, and then I run it in the microwave for a few minutes until the water steams. Ooh-wee, the bottles are super hot now and they are sterile. What you want to do is take a paper cup or a plastic cup that is very flexible and you want to add either filter water or distilled water to this cup. What we're going to do now is take the water in this paper cup and place it into one of our sterile bottles. To do this, gently squeeze the top of the cup so that you create a crease in it so that you can produce a very fine stream of water that will fit inside the top of the bottle. So gently pour the water in and what you want to do is watch the level of the water. Once the water reaches the point where the bottle starts to narrow, stop pouring. If you pour too much, pour some of the water out of the bottle until the liquid is just above the point where the bottle starts to narrow. Now, what you want to do is take a teacup, a coffee cup, or something that you can boil water in that is microwave safe. So pour the water that's in the bottle into a empty teacup or coffee cup. And then place this into the microwave. For me, it was only a minute so that it will start to boil. Now remove this boiling water from the microwave. My water is super hot, so be very careful. <laughs> now it's time to add the sucralose powder. So open your sucralose powder package very slowly because this powder likes to float in the air very easily. So take a tablespoon and you want to dip it into the bag. Make sure your tablespoon is dry, not wet at all. So dip this into your bag. You want to get a level scoop of sucralose powder. If you have any excess, gently shake it loose by hitting it to the side of the bag. Now being very careful, you're going to want to dump this powder into your hot cup of water. Try to get every little bit of the powder into the cup because even a small amount will change the consistency and, your, and the sweetness of your mixture. Using a clean spoon, you're going to want to stir the liquid. Now if you're making multiple bottles, 
don't use the tablespoon that you use to measure your powder because you want this to stay completely dry. So continue stirring until all of the powder has dissolved. You will notice that the water will change to a slight amber color. This is when you know that you have completely stirred in all of the powder. Now transfer this mixture back into the plastic cup that you used before. Just as we did, just as we did before, take the cup and gently squeeze the top to create a narrow passage so that a small stream of water is able to fit into the top of the bottle. You should pour all the liquid in if you measure correctly before and they should all fit back into the bottle. Now place your dropper back onto the bottle. The bottle will be hot so be very careful. If it's too hot use a towel to hold the bottle. That's it. You're all done. See that was easy. Now sucralose is the best sweetener that I love because I am on the keto diet and with sucralose I noticed that it does not change the chemistry or the behavior of my baked goods. Also too, to me, it tastes just like sugar. Enjoy your homemade, do-it-yourself liquid sucralose.